I'm saying the problems I had with Yamato versus Yuhaba fight. The first problem of the Yamato versus Yuhaba fight is Yamato using Bankai. It didn't make sense why he used Bankai. Yamato knew that Yuhabach could steal Bankai and he still decided to use it against him. Yamato put himself at a disadvantage against Yuhabach. Now, I know Yamato using Bankai was the best way to take down Yuhabach because of how powerful he was, but with everything going on, he should have restrained himself. It seemed like he got too cocky and believed he could use Bankai against someone on his level of power without repercussions. Also, Yamato knows the Quincy stole all of the Bankais of the captains that used their Bankai against them. He should have thought the same thing could happen to him no matter what happened. Yamato is smart and with his vast knowledge should have known what will happen if someone takes his Bankai. He should have tried finding the medallion and destroying it before using Bankai. In addition, Yamato got his Zanpato sealed by Wonderweiss, so he shouldn't have thought that it isn't possible for someone to steal his Bankai when his Zanpakuto got sealed not that long ago. The sealing and stealing ability is not the same thing, but it is similar in ways. Yamato should have been ahead of his game in the fight with Yuhabat. You should subscribe to my channel. The second problem of the Yamato versus Yuhabach fight is that Yamato didn't use Kido against Yuhabach. It is strange he never used his Kido ability against a person trying to steal his Bankai and use it against him. It would have been smart for Yamato to use the Kido ability since no one could steal it. Also, Yamato is a master of Kido and one of the best in the Soul Society. Yamato using Kido could have helped him a lot in attack and defense. It is likely Yamato's Kido wouldn't stop Yuhabach, but it would have slowed him down a lot in the fight. Yuhabach would have a difficult time dealing with Yamato powerful Kido. Yamato should have used Kido and his keto would have helped him. The third problem of the Yamato versus Yuhaba fight is that Yamato let Yuhaba cut him. Yamato should have let Yuhaba cut him in half with his sword. He had no reason to allow him to do that against him. Yuhaba wasn't overwhelmingly faster than Yamato. Also, I doubt Yuhaba had the speed to cut down Yamato without him seeing the attack. Yamato should have been able to dodge the attack without difficulties and continue to fight with Yuhabach. Yuhabach shouldn't have been able to cut Yamato as he did. That is all the problems of the Yamato versus Yuhaba fight. You should subscribe to my channel. Like the video if you like the video and comment with your opinion. Now peace.